Lions vs. Tigers. Top 3 Key Differences. Lions and Tigers. These carnivorous animals may come to mind when you think of two of the world's largest cats in the world. 1. How can you tell these big cats apart? 2. What happens when a lion and a tiger mate? 3. Do lions and tigers ever get in fights? Who would win? Let's find out. There are several key differences between lions and tigers. The most apparent difference is their appearance, which we'll discuss in detail. Also, while their ranges overlap, lions and tigers don't usually live in the same place. Other differences include the animal's size and strength. Are you watching this video because you want to know which animal would win in a fight? There are some considerations to look into. Now let us consider them. The first is coloration. This is mostly determined biologically, parent of the animals. Coloration is the easiest way to tell lions and tigers apart. Tigers carry a distinct striped pattern, while lions are solid colored. Male lions also sport a thick, furry mane around their necks, female lions and all tigers do not. Variations do occur within each species. Tigers are commonly either orange or white with black stripes. Rarely, white tigers may have brown rather than black stripes. The snow tiger, morph has very faint stripes and reddish banding on the tail. Golden tigers are blonde between reddish-brown stripes. Black tigers have extremely thick stripes with little of the other colors showing through. Lions may also vary in color. Some have black or reddish tinges, and others are pure white. Next is their sociability, the quality of being sociable, do they have the quality of liking to meet and spend time with each other, or other animals in the jungle. If we are to consider the lion, typically, the lion lives and hunt in groups known as prides. Females do most of the hunting and prides typically contain just one adult male. These prides may sustain as many as 30 individual lions. Young males may travel and hunt in small groups of 3 to 5 individuals before founding their own prides. This is wee different for the tigers, on the other hand, they are generally solitary. Young tigers establish their own territories as they near adulthood. The territories of young females may overlap with their mother's territories for a time, but the animals do not hunt together. Along. Considering lions and tigers have the same ranges but don't necessarily cross paths means they can easily coexist in the wild. Believe it or not, lions and tigers can actually reproduce. The offspring of these felines have separate terms depending on which sex of lion and tiger made it. Liger. A liger is the term of the hybrid offspring of a male lion with a female tiger. Characteristics of each parent are shown in ligers. They love to swim, like tigers, and are very sociable, like lions. Surprisingly, ligers grow larger than either of their parent felines do. Coloration of ligers has faint stripes like a tiger's and possibly faint spots from their lion genes. Under colors include tawny, sand, or gold. In some cases, white tigers have been bred with lions to produce white ligers, who have faint stripes or lack them completely. Tigon. On the other hand, a tigon is the hybrid offspring of a male tiger with a female lion. Tigons can have spots resembling their mother lions and stripes from their tiger genes. Male tigons have shorter and less noticeable manes than typical lions do. Growth inhibitory genes are passed down to these offspring, so tigons do not grow larger than their parent species. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and click the notification button.